we're gonna teach you a little bit of how to run a quote with OLEC and OBA products within the Occidental group and um, just to get started over here uh, we're gonna go we're gonna look at um, the OLEC product first of all um, gonna look at the OLEC product and uh, it's basically all like it stands for Occidental Life Insurance Company. It's a level term insurance, 10, 15, and 20 year. Um, and uh, we can insure ages 18 to 70 on the 10 and 15 year terms, and up to 65 years old on the 20 year term. The minimum issue it's one hundred thousand dollars. There's no maximum. There's no limit on the upside. So. Um, this product is fully underwritten fully underwritten uh, what that means is that we go down to table 12 to 14 which we can take some of the special harder cases that a simplified issue policy would not be able to carry for example uh, type uh, to diabe diabetics uh, so insulin dependency we can take uh, the harder uh, the harder to place cases we're going to be able to do a fully underwritten uh, case over here and and help you get those hard cases approved um, obviously here's uh, on page seven of your underwriting guideline you will find that um, all the uh, requirements for uh, any um, paramedical exams or doctor exams uh, blood or urine specimens that are required your bill charts and and you're gonna have you know over here on page 10 your preferred guidelines and preferred weights um, but the agent guide is a, it's very complete um, again we use EMSI to to call in the the paramedics if uh, if needed so if it's uh if the client is from uh, over here from 0 to 45 it will not require a medical exam under $100,000 for $100,000 and above but if if they're 46 and up then this is where we start the f uh, fully underwritten cases so let's look at the application the application for OLEC um we use as you can see we're going to be using the same application as the EC term whenever you take the application you're going to use this exact uh, application you're going to then come over here and mark right here and you're going to put OLEC over here you're going to spell out OLEC so you're gonna go ahead and take care of that right there over here the plan you're gonna again you're gonna want to write out the OLEC over here OLEC and then you're gonna put the number of years the number of years so you wanna make sure that that you have the number of years right there everything else is gonna be pretty much the same on the policy request we're gonna use on issue uh, you know we're gonna try to stay with the bank drafting your modal premium everything else is gonna be pretty much the same I'm just gonna point out some uh, minor stuff you know on the uh, uh, doctor and hospital you must have the illness uh, refer this section to any of the questions answer yes up here especially if you have high blood uh, diabetes um, arthritis uh, bipolar disorders all those will carry your questionnaires that can be downloaded from the from the uh, website so just kinda keep those in mind if it's a yes answer make sure you reflect these answers with the se this section over here and make sure that you're specific you know what is the illness high blood pressure what are the dates of onset and what is the treatment are they taking medication yes how much what's the name what's the milligrams you know be specific uh, as you can that will help you out when processing that will help you get paid faster over here make sure you have your doctor's name their address and most importantly their phone number <clears throat> make sure the customer signs their their part right here make sure the agent or agents of record they both come and sign over here and we need an additional signature from the customer on the second page over here so there's two signatures for the customer Two. make sure that you have the banking information for the customer right here 
because you will need it again on on the last section which uh, is the bank draft authorization you will need to fill out the banking information over here again so you're gonna have to do in this specific product you're gonna need it two times now let's uh, move this aside and let's focus on the calculator again as you can see this calculator is gonna be very similar to what the other ones that we've seen and um, they're all very 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 easy to use let's uh, take somebody again non-smoker again I always quote prefer I mean standard yes or non-smoker because it is very hard I would rather the company come back and say you qualify for a better rate than us having to come back and say well it's not ten dollars it's now fifteen dollars so don't set yourself up for that situation always quote standard let the company make the uh, the final decision unless you're one thousand percent sure let's pick a um, over here we're gonna look at the twenty year monthly and let's do two hundred and fifty thousand uh, with uh, with that with this particular customer again it's gonna give you a PDF file you go open the PDF file and you can see the pricing 20 year for a 45 year old person 250,000 it would be seventy seven dollars and eighty eight cents pretty competitive um, pricing aggressive pricing on this particular product you can add waiver premium accidental death you can add children a riders and a family insurance rider uh, you might want to take a look at this one this is a very interesting uh, rider very 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 effective very powerful um, you can also add total disability and again the OLEC is best used for people that want the best pricing in hard place cases uh, insulin dependency this would be the the, the case let's move now to um, let's move now to the OBA product let's look at OBA we're gonna pull the calculator and again all the calculators all the products are gonna be downloaded on the same calculator as you can see I have them all over here there's OBA and there's OLIC now we're gonna move into the OBA OBA um, originally uh, was meant was a product meant for officers and basically it stands for officers benefit association let's look at their aging guide here a little bit closer right here and let's look at a uh, let's go through the product now you can place anybody in this product because within the application you will have a uh, OBA membership application that the customer doesn't even have to pay for it but in the past they used to require one dollar to become members of, of the OBA which would make them qualify and for this particular product so OBA it's basically a group level term insurance so you get group pricing to age 70 and it is only offered on four on four amounts fifty thousand a hundred thousand hundred and fifty thousand and two hundred thousand so just be aware that those are the only breakdowns of of uh, face amount that we have so we call um, we can actually also add additional benefits and riders such as dependent insurance um, they also get a conversion privilege that you might want to brush up on on your agent guide um, and um, if the case is over 150,000, they will require a phone interview. So just be aware of your requirements. EMSI is the place to call to conduct your phone interviews. You got your bill charts uh, in your impairment guide. Obviously, you're going to have your impairment uh, impairment guides over here, um, where we have cancer you can see that some cancers are issued standards right here so you know just be aware that not every heart case is a decline you know asthma uh, you know is issued standard some of the stuff out there it's gonna be issued standard diabetes 
and this is not particularly necessarily a decline if they're diabetics, but if diabetes is combined with overweight, heart disease, gout, or or if they currently smoke, diagnosed prior to age 35, then it would be an automatic decline. But if they don't fall in any of these three categories, then basically they're home free and the customer could uh, potentially get approved. So you can see the impairment guide is pretty nice set up. You got some of the um, uh, medications over here that will tell you uh, you know whether they would be they would be medication that you need to be watching out for okay let's look at the uh, application application very simple if, if it does require a phone interview this is where you would put EMSI and the case number right uh, so this is where that would be you would need the social security driver's license uh, that's don't forget that you need your occupation and you need your height and weight again uh, you want to mail the application to the insured um, the policy request date is on issue and you will have the choice of having uh, 50,000, 100,000, 150 or 200,000 <clears throat> medical questions same as the other applications make sure you're uh, specific make sure you disclose every medication make sure you disclose the name and the milligrams and the doctors or hospitals name address and telephone number any additional comments that that you need to work with you can place right here again this particular application will require two signatures from the customer on this page one right here uh, the signature of the proposed insured and one over here at the bottom signifying the uh, pre-authorization check one and yes and I repeat yes you will have to come back to the other authorization and they will have to fill the banking information here again and give us another signature over here this particular product since it's a 10 year group term policy it's gonna be very very competitive uh, let me give you an example not only is it very competitive it has an annuity rider and when I when when let me uh, see if I can position that over here let's look at a customer from 1968 male from again let's do Texas non-smoker that wants to pay monthly that wants a hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of insurance so that automatically tells us that he will require a telephone interview and I'm not gonna worry about this right now on the bottom for now I'm just gonna run the quote I'm gonna generate that PDF I'm gonna generate the PDF I'm gonna get the quote and um, you can see over here $26. $26 to insure a 44 year old male for $150,000. This is pretty incredible uh, for this uh, age group and it is as competitive as the other every other um, as with any other age group that falls within these guidelines as you can see again we're gonna be looking at 10 years after 10 years yes it goes down but it's already uh, broken down over here it goes from 312 to 804 to a thousand dollars a month okay and that's fine and dandy because you can see the breakdowns of uh, it carries them to age 54, 64, and to age 70 because this product it's set up to be to age 70 only. All right. Even though the price is going up every 10 years, you can offset that if if you already know that the actual quote is only $26, and this one has a, an annuity rider and in the past again OBA was used for retirement purposes and let's say that the customer says hey let me put two hundred dollars a month on retirement money on that annuity rider that's a guarantee that's got a guarantee uh, interest on there let me show you what that would do over here so you still have you still have your twenty six dollars monthly premium 
and now it reflects a two hundred dollars flex flexible premium um, annuity rider right over here so making it a total of two twenty six the maximum per year is five thousand dollars okay year one you can see that the benefit just went up by two thousand four hundred and thirty eight dollars because of the money that was put into the annuity all right so let's go over here where the premium starts going up in price see what he does at the at the end of the annuity at age 70 the customer would have paid seventeen thousand dollars you accumulated sixty two thousand dollars with the accumulated va value that's guaranteed you have ninety four thousand dollars with a total death benefit of two hundred and forty four thousand and the customer can take this a monthly life income of six hundred and twenty seven dollars and fourteen cents which means that for every two hundred dollars that he put into his plan he's getting six hundred and twenty seven dollars for the rest of on a monthly life income rider which is uh, guaranteed at three percent currently running at a four percent uh, rate right now again this makes it really really affordable premium really competitive let's say that you have somebody shopping for price and let's say that you have somebody born on nine so let's say September 22nd of 1956 and they're healthy and they're looking for let's say two hundred thousand dollars and they're gonna pay monthly I'm gonna take the annuity rider out and I'm just gonna run the simple pure quote so that we can illustrate what that monthly premium would be so for two hundred thousand dollars as you can see it's ninety seven dollars ninety seven dollars for a fifty six year old person ten year benefit two hundred thousand dollars the ability to accumulate cash the maximum he would ever pay it's fourteen hundred dollars a year it's again this is an amazing amazing term product because basically you just built a 14 year term product um, again with this being said I'm gonna go ahead and print this out over here um, with that being said that is the OBA OBA product again it's a 10 year group term and uh, phenomenal rates because it was based on group level term life insurance originally designed for government employers and officers so you know we were targeting in the past first responders all government employees uh, state employees railroad hospital and the spouses in the past that was only the case now anybody can qualify if they sign up for the one dollar membership which they don't have to pay they just need to sign so you can offer competitive rate annuity rider uh, you got your uh, medical impairment guides and the calculators again based on the same um, same structure as the other calculators and you can add dependent coverage uh, for the family or children insurance rider on the, within the same policy again thank you this has been an OLEC and OBA presentation